two wires same material again oh same material whenever you see this you can just smile and wave at it hey i like it more constants better makes our life easier connected to the same electric supply p has twice the length of q wow and one third the length of diameter well they write here 3d d okay good they write everything label for us it is so nice oh my goodness what is the ratio of the current in p and the current in q so the ratio depends on their resistance right resistance one resistance two. i don't know what that is but the current will divide accordingly here we'll have some different current here we'll have some different current just by looking at the picture alone oh, which one you think will have more current see the short short the fat fat one this one will have more current flowing through it because probably more more lower more i because the resistance is likely smaller here so i'm just gonna write here smaller and like miss can look at picture and guess like that one I can why not uh r is larger here and then so you have okay r larger yeah so smaller i Let's put that up. Let's put our educated guess there or might as well. Now we actually have to calculate a number. So first things first, yes, you need to remember your R equals to rho L over A. And you know all this diameter, diameter thing, yes. But also you need to know Ohm's law because we are looking at current, ratio of current. So we need to find what is IP, what is IQ. And then only divide both. So whenever you see ratio, that's what you do long. You find the top, find the bottom, divide both. So we need to rearrange this. So R I sub in will be V over I equals to rho L over A. So if I want uh, V, current, hmm, let's rearrange for current. So current rearrange will be A V over rho L. That's it long. Then now we need to plug in everything we know about IP and IQ. I'm going to do the shortcut since we already did the long way in the previous video, uh, the paper 2 one, the ratio, ratio, ratio everywhere one. So the shortcut is among all these variables or A, V, rho, L, which one is constant? Put a box on it. Lock already. You cannot change. A is changing because of diameter. V is potential difference. It's actually the same for both constant for both why because here you have some v coming from a power supply and because these are parallel lines the v across here to here for any parallel line is the same so the potential difference across p is the same equals to vq same so v is the same for both laws so eventually they will cancel out uh row same material yes yeah, so it's the same so what's changing is a and l only law good i like so let's divide IP over IQ to find the ratio. Now the rest constants they will just cancel out top and bottom. So what's what's left is area of P over length of P and then area of Q over length of Q. I rearrange a bit APLQ and then down there will be AQLP. Area have to pi r square d, right? Pi r square d. Sorry, pi r squared or pi d squared over 4. So I just leave the d la because all the rest are just constants. So that's left with that. These are shortcuts. d squared l p. Now we plug in everything we know. Yes, now we do that. What is d p? d diameter of p is just d. So just d squared. Length of Q is L, the curly L, so you just L. Diameter of Q, 3D square, so 3D square. And the length of P is quite long, 2L. Then you just see what else you can cancel out. So here L and L are just symbols already, so L and L can cancel off. They are not uh, variables anymore. D square and D square can cancel out. So what's left is 1 over oh, green color. 1 over 339, 3, 3 square ma, uh, times 2. That will be 1 over 9 times 2, 18. So 18. Ta-da! That's how you can find that thing. 
So yes, you can shortcut by this as long as you know what is constant. Because if they're constant means you can cancel out the top and the bottom. If they're not constant, then you need to find what values to plug in. Alright? 